Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. First off, I am ill. I hope you guys can look past that. My voice is a bit on the ropes right now, so please do bear with me. But this is essentially the return of what, in my opinion, is the most dangerous scam to ever circulate around Steam. And when this scam initially came out, so many people were affected by it. I made a video about it, which kind of went over the rough detailings of it. So if you want to check that out, the video will link will be down below. But essentially, this scam was people making items that look identical to Team Fortress 2 items belonging to their own game. For example, they'll make a game on Steam and make the items in their game appear exactly the same as Team Fortress 2's items. The only difference would be that underneath the item, it would say their game name instead of of Team Fortress 2. Not everyone checked the game name and people then were receiving items for games that don't even really exist. The items hold no value in any economy whatsoever because they're not real. And Steam acted very quick in removing this scam method. Within 48 hours, the scam was gone. Also, it's worth noting that they did implement this notice to say when you're trading, just before you accept it, this is an item for a game you don't own. So even if something like this does happen where people are making duplicate items, you get a warning saying that you don't actually own the game the items are for. But not everyone checks warnings anyway when they're making trades. But now, around Christmas time, it appears to be popping back up and worse than ever. So, a friend of mine sent me this screenshot on Discord yesterday. For a Manco Supply Crate key, everything about the key is the same. It's the same quality, the font colour's the same, the font size is the same, everything about it is the same, except that it's for a game called Bitcoin Miner as opposed to Team Fortress 2. And this is how the scam worked last time. The items would look exactly the same, but they'd appear for a different game. Anyone who doesn't really know how to check what game an item's for or doesn't think about it will end up with a random key for a game called Bitcoin Miner that they can't ever use because it's not a real Team Fortress key. But they seem to be getting a bit more severe than this in that they're actually impersonating real games. A friend of mine and fellow TF2 YouTuber Arkimo sent me this screenshot which was an offer on his unusual pistol. It's a trade offer one for one with a golden pan. As you can see, the golden pan, strange professional killstreak golden pan, exactly how it appears in TF2. It has a damaged out part with stats included. It has robots destroyed with stats included. Even the description and how the sheen appears in the description is exactly the same. The only difference is that it says this item's for Dota 2 as opposed to Team Fortress 2. So so these scammers have now found a way to make their items appear in Dota 2 as opposed to Bitcoin Miner or any random game. It now shows a real Steam game and I'm sure you guys understand that if this scam gets further out of hand, they can appear for any game. It's going to show Team Fortress 2 to where the only way you can actually check if this item is real or not is to physically go into their inventory, check their Team Fortress 2 inventory or their backpack.tf profile and see if they actually own the item. But whilst we're on the topic of Dota 2, Arkimo also sent me this, a comparison between two Dragon Claw hooks, one of which is for Dota 2, and one of which is also for Dota 2, but not the real Dota 2, it's for a fake Dota 2. Everything about it looks identical, the only thing that isn't the same is that the real one has the empty socket parts, but if you're relatively new to Dota 2, or don't know about the economy, or how the items work, how are you meant to know? Like, everything about this looks the same. It's got the same description. It's got the same, like, bio part. It's got the same Dota 2 game emblem. This is really going to get out of hand if Steam don't act on this extremely fast. So, as I said last time, I wouldn't recommend that you entirely stop trading because that's not the best solution for this. However, what I do feel like is a good solution is that you make sure before you make a trade, if you have any suspicions that the item isn't real, is that you go into their Steam inventory and check that it's in the official Team Fortress 2 Steam inventory. If they've got a private inventory, that's a red flag. Go onto their backpack.tf, look in their official TF2 backpack. If the item you're trading for appears in there, then you're more than likely good to go. But even then, scammers could just have a, a real variant that makes it look like you're trading for a real one and then a fake one. Like, man, Steam needs to act on this fast, guys. Please, please, please be careful when you're doing these trades because if it gets to a point where you can't even trade because every single item has a unique variant that looks identical for a game that appears as Team Fortress 2 or appears as Dota 2, then 
we're physically not going to be able to trade because we don't know what's a scam and what's not. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to share this around. We need to get the message out and we need Steam to act on this as fast as they did last time. Thanks so much for watching and peace.